Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to go over how to create a custom color map in Avizo. So to start out, I've loaded in chocolatebar.am and applied a volume rendering with a 0 0.04 opacity and the color map grayscale, and I've created an ortho slice with the physics color map. So how do you edit a color map? So we're going to go click edit here in the color map options of the volume rendering, go to options and go to edit color map like so. So this opens up the color map editor. So we're going to just click over here to open up this part two, and then we're going to walk through it. So the first thing I want to go over in this color map editor is the histogram. So this histogram is displayed based on the data that you have selected. So since we have the chocolate bar am selected, this is the histogram of the values in that data set specifically. So next we can change the opacity of a color map. So right now we have the opacity go from zero to a hundred over the course of the entire color map. So we could change that by just dragging each of the points up and down. So now it will go from zero to only around 50. So now let's say we wanted the opacity to go up really fast at the beginning and then go up less in the second half. So to do that, we can just click somewhere on the image and it will create another keyframe. So now you can see how the opacity goes up to 40 and then just continues going up very slowly to around 50. There's a couple different opacity presets that you can choose. So you can either choose a high pass, which will add in. So the first half of the values have zero opacity and the second half of the values will have 100% opacity. Or you can choose a band gap or many other options. We're just going to keep it simple and keep it at ramp up. All right. So now let's say, instead of going from black to white, we want it to go from black to green to white. So to do that, we need to add another keyframe in. So if you don't see this editor down here, you just click this um, arrow and it will show up. So to create a keyframe, just click on, the, on this bar down here, just like so. And we can change the color by choosing the color here. So we want to change it to green. So we want to click on the color option and then choose green like so. So now you can see how it goes from black to green to white. So now we're going to go into more of the fine tuned details of this. So I can change how the green blends with the white by moving this slider right here. So if I move it to the left more, the green fades out very quickly. And if I move it to the right more, the green fades out much slower. You can also change the how that slider works. You can change it to be a constant slider, so it just stays the same color the entire way to the next part, or you can use the step option. So the step option takes advantage of how you can choose two separate colors here. Let's just edit this color for simplicity and change it to be red. And we can see how this step option will transition from green to red at the point of this keyframe, like so but you can still change how fast the red fades out with this slider. But what if I wanted to change how the black and green fade together? So I can't do that while selecting this keyframe. I need to select the keyframe to the left because that's the one that controls it. So if I select the black keyframe like I have now, we can change this slider so the black will become more or less prominent. Awesome. So just for simplicity though, we're going to change the original key for this keyframe back to linear. So then it's all green and we're going to change this to the slider to 50. All right. So if you wanted to remove a keyframe, all you have to do is right click on it. And that goes for a keyframe in the opacity part. You can create a keyframe and then right click on it to remove it or a keyframe down here. You can click on it and then right click to remove it. So one last thing is you can reset the color map back to the default color map by just clicking on the reset button up here. So now let's save the color map. So we're going to click save and then we can just save it wherever we want. So I'm going to call this green scale and I'm just going to click save. And now we have it saved and we, it shows up in our project window right here. Now let's say I wanted to apply the green scale color map to the ortho slice. So to do that, I would select ortho slice, go to edit, and then 
I just select green scale right down here. And now we've applied the green scale color map to the ortho slice. All right, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.